Hey guys, Mike the Vike here, back for yet another video. Today we're gonna be looking at the new security cameras that got added to Rust, and I was just curious how players have been using them. So I've been snooping around on my 2x server, seeing what people are up to. Okay, before that, I just wanna show how these cameras work in case you don't know. So basically, you got your CCTV camera. You place it down on your base. From there, you'll need to give these puppies power, so I'll just use a generator here and boom all right so now that these things got power you click on them and you set an id now the name of your identifier is important because it is something that anyone else can access which i'll show later but we'll call it we'll call it panda 22 all right uh, and it is case sensitive so do bear that in mind okay next thing you're gonna need is a computer station which is uh here this is the cost it's honestly not bad then from there once you got your computer station Simply add identifiers, so Panda22, and now click on it, boom. You can officially see your cameras. Now you can't move the cameras around or anything like that, but you can hear audio, which is kind of neat. And you could obviously just click between them. Beyond your own cameras, there's actually a bunch of cameras set up at things like the oil rigs, at the airfield, and so on. So for example, at Bandit Camp, I can type in casino, click add, and I now have a camera that's at the casino, so I can see if anybody's gambling away or, you know, if they win or whatnot. The list goes on. I'll throw these in the description if you want to see them. But anyways, that's enough Shadow Frax mode for you. Uh, Mike, let's... What? Please. What? I accidentally sent the N-word in your Discord. I, th I was thinking it was a different no! Discord, but then it was this oh one. Oh my god, you guys are idiots. Now with that out of the way, let's take a look and see how clients actually use this stuff. I'm just curious to see uh, how are you using your cameras and what do you think of them so far? Well, they're, I think they're pretty cool. We've countered kids on small and large of them. Oh, and interesting. And our teammate was giving us call outs. Ooh. And uh, people have set up camera things around our base to like keep an eye on us. And we raided one up on the hill and we connected it to our table. So now we own it and we oh. control it. That's sick. Dang, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna take a look. I'm just curious. And yeah, like he mentioned, you can watch Oil Rig as well. You could probably just keep a guy living on one of these computers, low key, while everyone else goes out. <laughs> like, this is good for that one person that is like just organizing loot the entire day. They could also just watch the cameras. <laughs> Here's one they have set up on their base. So in theory, it actually kind of saves a need to like go on your roof. So instead of like exposing yourself, you could just check your cameras, obviously which is pretty handy. All right, there was one clan set up. Here's another one. Now, I might be showing up at a bad time. These could be raiders, I'm not quite sure. So in terms of these guys, we do have one camera here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Any others on here? There's another one up there. Now, you can destroy the cameras, I should say that. They're not that difficult. It's got like 150 health or something. Okay, so they got the oil rig, of course. That makes sense. I'm just curious to see what people are doing. Uh, we got one camera that's dead. Shut up, sweet! Get out of here! Okay, okay. Oh my god, oh, you're 13 years old! Shut up! Oh, Shut up! Oh no, oh no! There's no way to talk to your fucking- Hey! Shutting down the rack of my fucking base. I dare you! Oh no! All right. So as you can see, um, hey, Mike, we kind of we kind of need that CCTV. Yeah, device. yo, dude, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Open that one. You can look at that one. Oh, sick. Thank you. Eat shit, uh, pussy! Oh my god! I need to raid cam this. You fucking nerds! Okay, wait. Hold up. So we got a camera here. Got a camera up here. Just got decent surveillance of the base, honestly. This one could be better positioned, but like, who cares? So, moral of the story is, honestly, hey, uh, it looks like people are using these things. Okay, I got one more base to showcase here, but you're already seeing the idea. Like, overall, a lot of the big clans are already incorporating these things into their designs. Yo, uh, fellas? Mike? Yeah, that's me. Mike! Can you help me? No, sir. Nah, nah, it's good. I'm just Bam. here to look at CCTV cameras. That's literally all I'm here for. Can I ask questions about your your setup? Yeah. Oh, shit! You only have a couple. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. The idea was... You only have a couple. If we're getting raided, we can see them. <laughs> what do you think of the cameras? Are they good? Do you use them? I don't know. Wait, OP, garbage, OP. 
Garbage and OP. I feel a bit OP. Yeah. Got it. Now, one of the negatives to this whole camera thing is, of course, smaller clans or people just trying to get kind of a sneaky advantage on larger bases, they're gonna suffer from this a lot. Because obviously, door camping is a, is a fantastic experience and a great way to, you know, get the jump on somebody. But that's obviously gonna be a heck of a lot harder now with all these cameras everywhere. With that said, can you counter these things? Absolutely. You know, just grab a gun and destroy the cameras, right? But it's still another thing that a solo player has to do, which obviously isn't the greatest. Alrighty, I think that about does it. I think you can tell that clearly people are using these things that they're pretty badass. I think it will change up the game a little bit because, for example, like you don't necessarily have to roof camp uh, the same way you did before. Just hop on your computer, check to see if anyone's around. I'm sure that there will be many changes in gameplay, but uh, I guess obviously time will tell. I look forward to seeing like trap bases. Oh boy, there's gonna be some some wild things. Next up, we need like microphones so that you can speak to people through the cameras. <laughs> now, actually, if you're looking for a new server to play on, my Viking Republic server is both just blueprint wiped. So if you're looking for a nice balanced modded experience, do check the link down below. With that said, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.